Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It is Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale and I needed to stock up on some candles and some hand washes. So we're gonna talk about that. I love Bath & Body Works candles but I do not love to pay full price for them so I won't pay over $10 for a candle. I actually did two orders because they were on sale and then if you did 10, uh, if you spent $40 you could take an extra 10 off so I split my order into two and got 20 off because they let me do that on my account. So why not take advantage? And it, I spent enough that it was free shipping, so perfect. So this first Bath & Body Works hand soap, I did not actually buy. This one I won at my daughter's bridal shower. I've mentioned that my daughter's bridal shower was superhero themed, but one of the games that my middle daughter threw it for my oldest daughter who's getting married. So one of the games that my daughter picked to play was uh, how well do you know my oldest daughter and I won and you would think that would be a given because I'm mom it was so not a given one of the questions was like what would her superpower be if she had a superpower I was like I know what my superpower would be I would be a super sleeper just kidding that's what I already am I yeah I just don't I was like I don't know so I guess and I was wrong and then like who's her favorite superhero and who's her favorite villain and a couple of those were easy but my oldest daughter is way into comic-con and comics and superheroes so she has a much greater knowledge than I do so it was a lot of fun and I was actually really surprised that I won but anyway so I got the Wild Berry Foaming Hand Soap from that, and then I bought some others from the sale. So from the sale, these were $3, and I bought Endless Weekend, just because of the name, because who doesn't want Endless Weekend? But this says it smells like white hydrangea, violet blossoms, and sparkling citrus. So citrus to me is always a pretty clean smell, so I got that one. And then Golden Sands, once again for the name, because I love vacation, especially beachy places. So this one says coconut water, warm vanilla, and water lily. And then fresh lemonade. This one says lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. For any of you that are wondering, my no sugar is going fantastic. I've had like, it's been almost three months, and I've had like three treat meals, which haven't even really been sugar. It's just been stuff that's more decadent than I've been eating normally. And then rain and spearmint leaves. Spearmint, minty smells, and eucalyptus are all very clean smelling to me also, I think to most people. So this one is um, spearmint leaves, fresh eucalyptus, and morning dew. I don't know what morning dew smells like, but we're going to find out. And then the last foaming hand soap, Oh Happy Day. Like I said, I'm totally sold by names. And this one says it smells like tart grapefruit, juicy tangerine, and fizzy lemon. So once again, citrusy smells are very clean to me. So I bought some more candles, like I told you, but I actually went out of my comfort zone and bought candles that I hadn't bought before that just I thought the scents looked like they'd probably smell good. So apparently I'm on a need a vacation kick because I bought Costa Rica and it's got this beautiful tropical scene on there. But this one says it smells like lush passion fruit, juicy pineapple, and white coconut. I actually don't like the way pineapple and coconut really smell, but this doesn't smell... Maybe I smell the pineapple, but it's a good mix. It's not overpowering, so I'll be interesting to see how that smells when it burns. And then another travel candle. This is Italy, and this is supposed to smell like cannoli and chocolate. It says it's fresh made cannoli, dusting of sugar, and sweet milk chocolate. And this one does smell like a bakery and chocolate. Um, <laughs> I could lick this candle. This candle smells so good. I'm pretty sure that doesn't break my no sugar because it's a candle. So, you know. This one, uh, I know I've said that about all of them, but this one is so good. This is lavender marshmallow. I really like the lavender smell and I really like the marshmallow. And this one you definitely get that lavender, but you get it followed right up by the sweet of the marshmallow. And that's all it says on here is the merging of two unexpected flavors, lavender and marshmallow, to make this special mouth-watering blend. If you watched my last candles by Victoria Hall, then you will know that I love, like, guy cologne smells. So, uh, candles by Victoria has a smell called oak, and I love that one. This one is the white barn candle and it's called black teakwood and this is very very much a guy cologne smell I love that 
It says it's um, rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. I didn't realize there was a lavender in here. That probably is part of why I like it. I like very woodsy smells, and then maybe it's just that touch of lavender. And this presentation is gorgeous. Look at this one. I love it. Oh, let's go back to the suite. I bought root beer float. And I really, this smells exactly like, you know those little root beer barrels, the hard candies? Hopefully somebody remembers those and I'm not 700 again. This smells to me exactly like those hard candies once you started sucking on them. I honestly can't wait to burn this one either. I don't know how I'm gonna pick. So this says it's supposed to smell like root beer, vanilla ice cream, and a dollop of whipped cream. Next I have mahogany teakwood. I told you I like very woodsy smells, very manly cologne smells, so I knew I would like this one. I think I have a teakwood one that um, was a cabin or something that I bought in the fall or Christmas time. I will have to try to remember what that one was. This one also I thought was gorgeous. It does smell like guy cologne. Okay, this has exactly, these are exactly the same smells. They both say rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. So why are they different names? Is it because one's Bath and Body Works and one's White Barn? Isn't White Barn just Bath and Body Works? They're sold there. They do smell identical. It's a good thing I like them because I bought two of the same candle. <laughs> okay, seriously, if you know, isn't White Barn just owned by Bath and Body Works? Why, why do they have two of the exact same candle in a different name? And then I have two more White Barn candles that hopefully do not smell exactly the same. Oh, this one's Mahogany Coconut. So I told you I don't like pineapple or coconut smells. That's not true. If the coconut smell is not very strong, then I don't mind coconut. I never like pineapple, except it wasn't bad in that candle. So this is a video of contradictions, sorry. But if it's a mellow coconut smell, and especially paired with the mahogany, I thought that I would like this because I like woody smells. So I was hoping what I would get out of that was a woody tropical smell with the coconut. Yeah, yep, it smells like suntan lotion. So this says it's creamy coconut, mahogany woods, and English lavender. Once again, maybe it's the lavender bringing it together for me. Okay, and then the last white barn is again this gorgeous bottle. I think, I think it's just an overlay, so if you hate it or you use these containers for other stuff like I sometimes do, you should be able to take it off. This one is Fresh Cut Lilacs. It says lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. And it does smell like lilacs. It is pretty strong smell in the bottle, so I will be interested to see if it's super strong when I'm burning it, like if I have to burn it for a minute and then, or a little bit and then quit, you know. So that's what I got from their semi-annual sale this time. And like I said, these candles say they're retail for $24.50. I usually wait till they're on sale for 10 or less. I've gotten them for eight before. I think this time they were 10. I can't remember. I feel like that's a very reasonable, like a super good deal for this size of candle. I just can't bring myself to pay $24 for these, even though they smell delicious. Did you guys buy anything from the Bath and Body Works sale? Are you a candle junkie? Let me know what your favorite smells are because really I do like to change it up. I have my favorites but I like to change it up quite a bit. Um, some of these were smells that I have bought before incorporated into other candles, but I don't think I bought these ones specifically before. So let me know what was in your candle basket. Thanks for watching and spending this time with me today, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!